Exactly, and I'm joined this morning by Major Vanessa Peer, who is on my right. She's the Logistics Officer, Trinidad and Tobago Regiment. I'm also joined by Flight Lieutenant Kemba Clasp, who is the Command Staff Officer of the Trinidad and Tobago Air Guard. Good morning and welcome. Good, Good morning. morning. Now we're speaking about leaving no one behind. First off, what is it? It is a charity 5K, and the theme for the charity 5K is leaving no woman behind. It is part of the CDS, the Chief of Defense Staff's, Military Women's Initiative. It's just one event in commemoration of 40 years of enlistment of females in the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force. 40 years of enlistment of females. Yes. Now, what does that mean to you as a woman in the service? <laughs> of that 40 years, I've spent 25 years. Wow. <laughs> so definitely um, a long, long stint of service there. And um, I, I want to find out from you as well, Major Vanessa Peer. What, what does it mean to you having you know, I've um, been in the service for some time and, you know, being a woman in the service. Well, I've been in the service for 16 years. Um, what it means to me is a whole lot because this organization is a male-dominated organization. And, and being so and indicating that we, we make 14% of this organization, it means a lot because women that we have within this organization are very elite, very chosen, and very good at what they do. Would you say that you, as a woman in the regiment, would have had to work harder to get where you are now? Um, I won't say that. When I came into training, it was more where well, we were always told it was a gender-neutral training. So we were expected to perform exactly like the men. Um, and that is what pushed us through to training. So it's not about working harder. It's just that we were expected to, to, to maintain the same performance as the men. And Flight Lieutenant Kemba Class, what about your experience um, for 25 years in the Air Guard? Um, not in the Air Guard. Not only in the Air Guard? <laughs> no. I spent 16 years with the regiment as an enlisted member, and the last nine years with the Air Guard as a commissioned officer. And how has your experience been over the years, you know, especially as a woman in the protective services? It has been a wonderful experience. Wonderful. Just like working in a civilian organization, we are allowed to do engineering, admin, mechanics. We have truck drivers, heavy equipment operators. So, so there was no barrier? No. no at all. And next year, 2020, you celebrate 40 years of women in the service. Yes. And you're commemorating that with the no, Leaving No One Behind, which is a charity 5K walk or run um, to acknowledge its auspicious milestone in the Defense Force's history. Yes. Now tell me about the event itself. The event will take place at the Defense Force Reserves Headquarters in Macrip. Um, the race starts at Reserves Headquarters and it goes counterclockwise along the Gulf Coast Road. There are several prizes to be won. Cash prizes for the first... You want to share that first with us? Place, <laughs> yes. First place male and female. Cash prizes, a cash prize of $1,000. It is the fastest 5K route that has been identified in Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. Therefore, for avid runners, they can come and up their timings. <laughs> Maybe I should come and, and take a run. I of may win some money. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> You're invited to register online. All right. Or you can purchase promo codes from Kenny's Sports Center at Trinity Mall or Carlton Center San Fernando. The registration online takes place at raceroster.com. Raceroster.com. Definitely yes. something to look forward to. If I may, mm -hmm. um, we just want to focus a bit on the charity because it is a charity event. So being a socially responsible organization, we have recognized the shelter.com, well, the shelter, which is a safe haven for women who would have been victims of domestic violence. And we can actually see the account number up on the screen there right now. Mm -hmm. So yeah. as, you, as you were saying. Right. So, um, so this charity event, as the funds, all the funds, um, would have been that would have raised what would have been raised from this event would go to this charity um, and it's also part of our recogni recognition of the elimination of violence against women um, this happens in November and this will be our fourth event for the year um, in recognition of this event all right so tell me a little touch on what that charity organization does so this charity um, it provides a safe haven for women who would have been victims of domestic violence. 
So what they focus on is people who would have been victims, transitioning them to, um, to be victims to survivors and survivors into success stories. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. And no better um, initiative, no better charity than to do something. Again, because this is all about leaving no woman behind and you know, commemorating 40 years of women in the protective services. So this is um, excellent. I want to thank you both for joining us this morning. Major Vanessa Peer, Logistics Officer, Trinidad and Tobago Regiment, as well as Flight Lieutenant Kemba Class, Command Staff Officer, Trinidad and Tobago Air Guard. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank Wishing you, you the best for that event coming up. And who knows, maybe I myself might sign <laughs> up and um, try to um, get the top prize. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back after this. <laughs>